It's time now for the Angler's View, brought to you by Pure Energy Rechargeable Batteries. Laura's 30-pound carp was cruising the edge of a navigation channel. Let's dissect some of the factors involved here. The water in the channel was 12 to 14 feet in depth, spanning approximately 40 feet across. The edges of the channel consisted of boulders that were placed to act as a retaining wall to prevent the structure from failing. Sean set up his rods on a point, allowing him to strategically place his baits in various locations along the channel. Carp were relating to this area, treating it somewhat like a submerged highway as they cruised up and down, vacuuming up the free offerings of maize, boilies and trout pellets. The strike zone was a 100-foot stretch of channel. Using the red marker as a reference point, Sean cast to the following areas. Rod 1 to the far side of the channel, Rod 2 in the center, and Rod 3 was cast to the inside edge of the channel. This strategy allowed the entire span of the carp highway to be covered. Laura's fish inhaled a tutti fruity flavored boilie, fished on a 10 inch hair rig below a 2 ounce method feeder. Ground baiting is key to keep the carp feeding in an area. Trevor headed out in his boat early that morning and threw out a good quantity of bait. It wasn't long before the carp moved in and began to feed. In addition to ground baiting, Sean used his catapult throughout the day to fire out particle baits, such as boilies and canned corn. As you catch fish throughout the day, throw out additional offerings. If the fishing slows down, try dipping your particle baits in flavorings. It can really pay off. For more information on subjects featured in today's show, log on to our website. Hookmorefish.com, your one-stop fishing and outdoors resource. High quality videos, contests, interactive forums and much more. Let Sean Ricard teach you when, where and how. Log on to www.hookmorefish.com today.